Cat scratch disease, also known as cat scratch fever, or subacute regional lymphadenitis, is a bacterial infection affecting the regional lymph nodes proximal to the site of inoculation of bacteria. Bartonella hensili, a gram-negative bacillus, is the major causative agent of cat scratch disease. It is one of the most common causes of lymphadenopathy in children. People with cat scratch disease usually have a history of sustaining a cat scratcher bite prior to the development of lymphadenopathy. First let's discuss about the signs and symptoms of cat scratch disease. More than 90% of patients with cat scratch disease develop one or more red-brown, non-tender papules at the site of inoculation of bacteria. They usually appear within 3 to 10 days after the bacteria are introduced and last for about 1 to 3 weeks. They gradually resolve as lymphadenopathy appears. Within 1 to 3 weeks, lymphadenopathy develops on a single node or a group of nodes draining the inoculation site. In this picture, the blue arrow indicates the primary site of inoculation of bacteria and the black circle indicates the adjacent lymphadenopathy. Single node involvement is more common. Lymph nodes of the neck and axillae are frequently affected and involvement of inguinal lymph nodes is less common. Lymphadenopathy can be moderately tender with increased warmth of the overlying skin. Lymphadenopathy remains regional and typically resolves within two to four months. However, in some individuals it may take up to six months or even a year. About 10 to 30 percent of nodes become suppurative, requiring needle aspiration. Approximately 50 percent of patients experience systemic symptoms, including fever, anorexia, fatigue, headache, arthralgia, and sore throat. A typical cat scratch disease occurs in approximately 10 percent of patients. Clinical manifestations of atypical cat scratch disease include paranoticulaglandular syndrome, central nervous system involvement, hepatosplenic cat scratch disease, endocarditis, osteomyelitis, and dermatologic manifestations. Paranoticulaglandular syndrome is characterized by unilateral conjunctivitis with adjacent preauricular lymphadenopathy. Sometimes, an ocular granuloma is also present. In these patients, the site of inoculation is the conjunctiva or eyelid secondary to a lick, scratch, or bite. Subsequent rubbing of the eye often leads to spreading. These physical findings of atypical cat scratch disease usually resolve within a few months without leaving any residual damage. Central nervous system involvement can be seen in about 5% of patients. Common findings include encephalitis, mental status changes, seizures, transient peripheral neuropathy, mellitus, and retinitis. Encephalitis is the commonest CNS manifestation and is characterized by confusion, restlessness, and disorientation. And rarely, it may progress into coma. Sometimes, seizures may progress into status epilepticus. These features of CNS involvement are typically self-limited. However, recovery takes a longer time compared to other manifestations of cat scratch disease. Hepatosplenic CSD is a rare form of atypical cat scratch disease. Individuals present with fever without any identifiable cause. Physical examination findings of these patients are usually normal. Occasionally, well-heeled cutaneous scars of cat scratches can be detected. Patients often complain of abdominal pain and discomfort. Lymphadenopathy presents only in about 50% of cases. It is important to note that hepatosplen amegaly, jaundice, and elevated liver enzyme levels are not associated with this condition. Fever typically abates within 48 hours of antibiotic treatment. Bartonella species account for about 3% of all cases of endocarditis. And, patients with Bartonella endocarditis often require valve replacement. Dermatologic manifestations occur in approximately 5% of patients and with more severe disease. Patients may present with multiple petechial rashes on the skin, however, other organs can also be affected. These dermatologic manifestations typically resolve within a few days. Cat scratch disease in immunocompromised patients is somewhat different from that in immunocompetent hosts. 
normally benign disease of CSD, can be life-threatening to an immunocompromised host. Patients with HIV infection, patients with cancer, and patients who have undergone transplantations are all at risk. These people develop bacillary angiomatosis, bacillary poliasis, or persistent or relapsing fever with bacteremia. Bacillary angiomatosis is a vasculoproliferative disorder, which is characterized by numerous red-brown tumors of the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Without antibiotic therapy, the disease progresses with dissemination. Bacillary poliasis involves the solid organs with reticulondothelial elements, such as liver, spleen, abdominal lymph nodes, and bone marrow. Vasculoproliferation of hepatic sinusoidal capillaries results in blood-filled spaces in the liver, as you can see in the picture above. Now let's discuss a bit about the pathophysiology of cat scratch disease. As mentioned earlier, most cases of cat scratch disease are caused by Bartonella hensili, which is a small, pleomorphic, fastidious, gram-negative, intracellular bacillus. Infection with Bartonella hensili gives a lifelong immunity to cat scratch disease. Domestic cats are the natural reservoir of Bartonella hensili. In cats, however, Bartonella infection is asymptomatic. Fleas are believed to be transmitting the disease between cats. Transmission from cats to human occurs via a scratch or bite when the bacterium presents in cats' claws or oral cavity. More than 90% of patients will report a history of contact with a cat, typically a kitten. The hallmark pathophysiologic feature of cat scratch disease is regional lymphadenopathy proximal to the site of inoculation of bacteria. In immunocompetent patients, Bartonella infection causes a granulomatous and suppurative response. Lymph nodes become enlarged. Lymphoid hyperplasia and arteriolar proliferation can be seen early in the disease. As the disease progresses, granulomas appear, with central necrosis. In immunocompromised patients, the response can be vasculoproliferative with neovascularization. Bartonella contains a protein called adhesin A which promotes vasculoproliferation. Cat scratch disease is diagnosed when the patient presents with compatible signs and symptoms with a history of a cat scratch or bite. Serology can confirm the diagnosis by detection of serum antibodies against Bartonella hensili. Lymph node aspiration is usually not recommended except to relieve pain and swelling or in cases where the diagnosis is unclear. Bartonella hensili DNA may be detected by PCR or culture of lymph node aspirates or blood. However, the sensitivity is not optimal when blood is used. As Bartonella hensili grows very slowly, cultures should be held for a maximum of 21 days. Here is a microscopic image of Bartonella hensili. Finally, let's discuss about the treatment of cat scratch disease. Most cases of CSD typically resolve without any treatment. However, some patients may develop complications from disseminated disease. Azithromycin has been shown to effective in decreasing lymph node volume more rapidly compared to no treatment. Many other types of antibiotics are also effective against Bartonella species, including penicillins, tetracyclines, cephalosporins, and aminoglycosides. With serious infection, more than one antibiotic is used. Okay. That's all I wish to discuss in this video. Hope you have learned something from it. If you have any question or doubt regarding this topic, feel free to post them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.